everyone. So cookies, uh, let's talk about them. You might have heard of cookies, but do you really know what they are and how they impact your online experience? Well, in this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about cookies from their definition to their types and what you can do about them on various browsers and what your other options. So sit back, grab a cookie and let's get started. Uh, first of all, what are cookies? Cookies are small text files that are stored on your device by a website that you visit. They're used to remember your preferences and activities, uh, such as your login information, your shopping cart uh, items, and your search history. Every time you visit the same website, your browser sends the cookie back to the server. Uh, along the website to remember your preferences from your last session and offer a more personalized experience. So what are various types of uh, cookies? Although there are a lot of ways that cookies can be divided into various types, we're go going to talk about two main types of cookies. One are uh, by the duration that they're held. Uh, one are session cookies and the other are persistent cookies. Session cookies are temporary and they only last until you close your browser. They're used to store information that needs to be remembered while you are surfing a website, such as items in your shopping cart. Uh, persistent cookies, on the other hand, have a longer lifespan and are stored on your device until they reach their expiration date or until you delete them manually. Um, they could be like a password information for a login information for certain uh, uh, websites, etc. So what are certain categories that we can divide cookies into? Well, they can be divided based on their purpose. There's first party cookies, uh, that which are by the website that you're visiting. And then there are third party cookies, which are set by other websites and trackers that are integrated into the website you're visiting. And the categorization can be based on their functions, such as functional cookies, which are necessary for the website to function. And then there are performance cookies, which collect information about your website usage to improve your experience. And then there are other things like marketing cookies that are uh, that uh, there are stored that just to provide you a better ad experience and uh, so the relevant ads can be delivered to you so why do cookies matter well cookies can have both a positive and negative effect on your online experience uh, on the one hand they can make your browsing experience more convenient and personalized on the other hand they can also be used to tracking your online activities um, which raises privacy concern third party cookies in particular can be used uh, by advertiser to target you with personalized ads based on your browsing history. It can also be used to store data. Um, and this also some people find very invasive. There are certain reasons that you should care about uh, uh, cookies. It's like your privacy concerns. They can be used to collect sensitive personal information, your browsing history, a location, login credentials, by tracking your behavior, cookies uh, can paint a detailed picture of your life, uh, which can be used for malicious purposes, if in wrong hands. There are security risks such as cookies can also be used to store malicious code, which can compromise your security. Like if you're on a bad website and they just have like a way of adding malicious code to the cookie and that's stored and that can hack, uh, that can wreak havoc on your computer. And then there are like performance issues. Uh, too many cookies can kind of like slow down your browser speed because like, and also like don't open too many tabs. Um, and then, so what can you do about cookies on various browsers? Uh, fortunately, most browsers allow you to control the use of your cookies. Uh, here's a quick rundown of how you can manage uh, cookies on some popular browsers on Google Chrome. Basically, this is what you do. And there you can manage your uh, cookies. And then on Mozilla Firefox, uh, you go to the options and then privacy settings and then do this. And then on Safari, you basically go to preferences, then privacy, and then manage website data uh, from there. Uh, you can block third party cookies in all these instances. Uh, other things you can do is use more privacy focused browsers uh, such as Brave and Firefox. They kind of like prioritize your privacy. Uh, DuckDuckGo is also a famous one. Uh, be careful with personal information uh, and avoid sharing sensitive information in like websites you don't know that much of. So that is it uh, for today, our video on cookies on the web, the sweet and sour of online tracking. I hope you found the information helpful and then learn something new. Hope you can always take control of your online experience by managing your cookies on your browser. There is a mind map 
that might be helpful in the PDF format, feel free to browse it and all the best.